Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tina and it's day five in the vlog every day in April and I'm really surprised. I am trying to stay on top of it and you guys are really helping, um, keeping me motivated and I really am enjoying it. Today's story is coming from the Washington Post, not sponsored, <laughs> I have to say that. Um, where a teenager asked his grandmother to prom because she wasn't, she didn't get to go to her prom and they denied her because she was too old. They said that she might buy beer for all the other kids so she wasn't allowed. Okay, so his grandmother is 69 years old, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check and make sure that's right. Yes. Catherine, 69, prepared for the April 8th event by purchasing a new dress to wear on the special night. Blah, 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 blah. Well, when the principal and everybody found out about it, they nixed it right there. Said, nope, no way, no how, cannot do it. And I'll put the link to the entire article down below because I'm not going to plagiarize this. Um, I was horrified. I'm like, seriously? You guys are not going to let him take his grandmother, who is 70 years old. She didn't get to go to her prom. And you guys are not going to allow him to take his grandmother, who would not spike the punch bowl. <laughs> and she looked so adorable in her dress. I mean, I was heartbroken when I read this story. And, you know, it's just like, and I'll, and I'll insert a photo. Yeah. I'll try to insert a photo here try to um, so you can see what she looked like in her dress and she looked beautiful and so what they did instead is they went out and had their own prom party and I was so proud of that young man he could have took anybody he wanted to take yet he wanted to take his grandmother who had never gotten to go to her own prom and I have to admire a teenager who wants to do that that's a person who's going to make a change in somebody's life unless something bad happens and his life gets cut short. But he's innovative and he's he thinks outside the box and he has compassion and he has empathy and he has, you know, all these warm fuzzies, you know, and that's what we need in this life. And that's why I tell you guys, you need to smile at somebody at least once a day. Smile at somebody because you never know how it's going to affect them. So I hope that my smile has affected you in some way. And that your smile can affect somebody else. And thus, it keeps going and going. But if you don't smile at somebody, it's never going to go anywhere. Now, I know it's not easy to smile some days because my smile gets plastered on sometimes, even when I don't want to wear it. Because I tell you all to smile at at least one person a day. So, if I say that, Mama best be putting her smile on so that you guys can smile too. So I'm trying much, much harder, and I'm trying to do a much better job of taking my own advice. So I love you guys. Um, links will be in the down bar, or I might put it in the card um, notation here um, to the link to the um, the New York the the Washington um, the Washington Post um, for the article of what happened with all this, and uh, yeah. I mean, this is a feel-good story that could have had a really, really good, awesome ending with the school letting her go. But no, this young man and his grandmother made their own prom, and I think that's really sweet. So, until tomorrow, guys, I love you. Keep smiling at people. Keep spreading that love that I share with you with somebody else, guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.